Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for Oracle SQL PL SQL developer. So here is another prominent question, the difference between a procedure and a function. So this question is very famous across uh, uh, beginners and the freshers in the PL SQL world. Uh, because uh, I'm sure like most of you would have encountered this question in at least in one uh, Oracle interview. Okay, so this is mainly most of the times this is asked for beginner level, but sometimes this question is asked in a different way for intermediate uh, professionals also. Okay, now let us see quickly see what is the difference and we'll see a few examples also. So the primary difference is that a function should return a value and we cannot uh, omit, this, omit this. A function should have a return value and to return information from a function, we'll be using the return keyword. In procedure, so that is the reason function can return only one value. So maybe we can uh, return like an array or uh, uh, any other collection, uh, but irrespective of that, we can return only one value, whether it can be a scalar value or a composite value, we can return only one value from a function. But in procedure, we can have any number of uh, a return value, but we'll not say it as a return value in a procedure, we'll call it as like an out parameter. So we'll be, we'll be using either out or we'll be using like in out parameter to return the information from the procedure. The functions can be called from a select statement, okay? Like the way we used to call the inbuilt functions, we can write our user defined functions and we can call from a select statement. However, procedures cannot be called from the select statement. See, mainly the functions are used to do the, uh, to implement the computational purposes, whereas the procedures will be using uh, to implement the logical data flow. So as I mentioned earlier, the functions can be called or can be called from a select statement, but there is a restriction uh, in Oracle. Like if the function has any DML statement, then we cannot call this function in the select statement. But there is an exception to this rule. If it is an autonomous transaction function, then it can have a DML statements also. So this is very uh, important uh, question because sometimes uh, the interviewer might ask, can we use a DML uh, statement inside the function? The answer is obviously yes, you can use a DML, but the drawback is that those kind of functions, you cannot use it in the select statement. But the interviewer might again ask, if at all I want, if at all there is a DML statement and I want to use that function in a select, select statement, what should I do? So typically you can make it as an autonomous transaction. So any autonomous transaction functions, though it, ha it has the DML statement, it can be called from the select statement because the autonomous transaction will run just completely uh, as a child transaction. Probably I'll talk about this autonomous transaction in a separate video, but right now you just keep it in mind that autonomous transaction functions can, though it have a DML statement, it can be called from the select clause. Another very important uh, difference, return keyword is used in the function to return a value and interviewer might again ask, can we use the return keyword in the procedure? Of course, we can use this return keyword, but the intention of this return keyword is not to return a value from a procedure. It is just to exit out of the procedure. So there is a difference in the behavior of the return keyword in the function and procedure. So th sometimes the question will be like, can we have a return keyword in the procedure? And what would be the behavior? Something like this. So you need to be very clear saying that, function having a return keyword is basically to return a value to the calling function. But in procedure, the return keyword is used to just exit out of the procedure. Okay, now we'll see a few examples. Yeah, as you can see here, here is a procedure which is going to update the uh, in salary information. So here we are passing the inform in parameter, out parameter. Through the out parameter, we can just uh, send return return the, um, we can get back the information so we can use the return keyword here as I mentioned for example suppose if the employee number is null we don't want to update anything so you can say if employee number is null then you can say return so in this case the return is just used to return out of the yeah in this case the return is just used to return from the um, procedure it is not to return a value now let us see one function. So here is a simple function which just takes department number as an input and it is just going to return the average salary. As I mentioned, this function can be called from the select statement, just like this here. Uh, suppose the another, this is another interview question. A function without a return keyword, can this be compiled or not? This is an, this because I, I encountered this question. Of course, you can compile this, see, 
I'm just removed the return keyword. I'm just trying to compile it here. As you can see, the function is perfectly compiled. There is no issue at all. But this function cannot be called from the select statement. When you try to call this from a select statement, you will get an error called function return without a value. So this is the, this is expected. Sometimes this, this question will come. And how will you identify all the function which doesn't have a return keyword? So this is another interview question. So here uh, we cannot directly identify. However, when you um, enable the uh, compiler warning setting, then and when you recompile all the function, then you will be able to identify what are all the function that doesn't have a return value. Probably I will talk about this um, uh, compiler, uh, sorry, warning, uh, compiler, uh, compile level warning error, all these things in some separate video. So there is one more enhancement which specific to the procedure and function as till 11 version will be able to create this procedure and function only in a PL SQL and then you will be able to invoke the function from SQL and procedures from the PL SQL. But from 12.1, there is an enhancement done on the with class where we can write the function and the procedure in the with class itself. Then we can execute as part of a select statement. So in this case, this function and procedure will never get created inside the database itself. It, it will be just part of the with class statement. Okay, so this also may be expected if you are a bit experienced person because uh, when we talk about the procedure and function, then you need to say that this procedure and function can be uh, given as part of the with class from 12.1 and it can be invoked. Okay, so if you want to know more detail about this with um, creating the, uh, sorry, not creating, uh, give, uh, defining the function and procedure as part of with class, then you can just look into this video. This video is available in this channel as part of uh, uh, 12C uh, video series. If you have any questions, you can just uh, share it in your comments or you can just drop to this mail ID. I'll just try to uh, explain with a live example, probably in the um, upcoming uh, video sessions. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more uh, new future videos, interview questions and, con and few concept videos and trips and tricks videos. Thank you.